Hello, welcome to Sony Graphic Radiology Training Channel. In this series of videos, a case with one teaching point is presented. This is the 15th video in this video series about fetal intracranial tumors. A 26-year-old pregnant woman referred for fetus ultrasound at 35 weeks of gestation for evaluation of fetal growth. The first screening test at 12 weeks and anomaly scan at 18 weeks of gestation were normal. The fetal growth was normal also. We found a well-defined heterogeneous hyperechoic space occupation lesion in right cerebral hemisphere, which causing mass effect on right lateral ventricle. Here is another image of the lesion with measurement and in color doppler study there is no obvious vascularity these findings suggestive of a fetal intracranial tumor or acute intraparenchymal hemorrhage fetal intracranial tumors are rare about three to four cases per one million leave Versus. Trotomas account for most cases, and the remaining minority include neuroepithelial tumors, lipomas, and craniopharyngiomas. Ultrasound will rarely allow specific diagnosis, as trotomas, osteocytomas, and craniopharyngiomas have a similar appearance, all presenting as a complex mass distorting the brain architecture possibly associated with microcephaly, ventriculomegaly, and intracranial calcifications. Only intracranial lipomas and croid plexus papillomas have distinct sonographic appearances. Several tumors typically develop rapidly in late gestation, and many cases have been reported in which the mid trimester sonogram was unremarkable. The differential diagnosis of intracranial tumors includes other space occupying intracranial lesions, and it may be challenging in some cases to distinguish between a tumor and an acute intraparenchymal hemorrhage, like our patient. The prognosis of congenital CNS humors is generally poor, with overall mortality rates in the range of 75%. No clear data are available with regard to the degree of neurologic impairment in survivors, but this is likely to be high as a level. Now, please pay attention to this teaching points. The suspicion of fetal intracranial tumors arises when it is observed as a space occupying mass in the fetal brain. Modern ultrasound machines and routine ultrasound scanning during pregnancy permit early detection of these tumors during fetal period. However, definite diagnosis is only confirmed after birth by histology. Progress in technology and contributed to early diagnosis of congenital CNS tumors, but the same is not absorbed with fetal surgery, perhaps because the prognosis of fetal brain tumors remains poor. Fetal medicine centers should be composed of a multidisciplinary team acting together to provide better assistance for fetuses with congenital CNS tumors and to develop new methods of treatment. Now, I suggest two others of my videos that are close to this video in terms of matter. And thank you for your attention.